Well, it is Monday morning and I am in the office. It is Memorial Day and I have some things planned with my kids, but I have some things to take care of for a very, very busy week for our law firm in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Not only a busy week, but a very busy month for our law firm. June will be probably one of the busiest months that we've ever had in our existence. So I'm getting ready for it coming in uh, today just to get some things knocked out before taking my kids out for some Memorial Day events. Uh, it is Memorial Day. Obviously, people are celebrating with barbecues and going on the shore and going to pools and, and family events. But I just want to take some time to remember why we celebrate Memorial Day for all those who have served our country and unfortunately have given their lives in the service of that country. Um, and and, and we, we have to remember them today. Um, people often confuse Memorial Day with, with Veterans Day. They are very different Memorial Day is to celebrate those who have given their lives. So whatever you're doing today, whether it be having a barbecue, going down the shore, spending time with family and friends, just keep that in the back of your mind as to why we do it. And try to do something that remembers a, a service member who has given his or her life for our country. And that's what Memorial Day is all about. Now, if you are traveling in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, I'm, I'm going to give my advice just like I do on the weekends, because I'm treating this like a weekend. And unfortunately, a lot of our cases do come in on the weekends because people are exercising some poor judgment with regards to a DUI or a gun crime in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. With regards to DUI, I always tell people do not refuse the chemical test. You are suffering of DUI in Pennsylvania or New Jersey. Take the test. Don't refuse it. It will never have a criminal case. Be polite to the officer. Be respectful but don't give consent to search your person or your property. Remember, if the officer's asking for consent, they probably don't have enough to search the car, and that's why they're asking. And by giving consent, you negate your constitutional rights under your state constitution and the U.S. Constitution. So keep that in the back of your mind. Remember that if you are traveling this weekend and you're taking your gun and you're traveling into a state where you don't have a permit to carry it, where there's no rights to prosecute that state, the only way to legally travel through the state is to have your gun in a gun box and the ammunition separately. Traveling with the gun underneath your seat, just because that's the way you travel with it, is not the proper way to do it. If you are traveling that way and you're stopped in a state like New Jersey and the police find the gun for whatever reason, either they are doing a traffic stop and they search the car because they think they have probable cause. Remember that in New Jersey, unlike Pennsylvania, warrantless searches are permissible. So just keep that back of your mind. If you are traveling with a firearm, do it legally. With regards to drugs and illegal and legal drugs, remember you can take a legal drug like Benadryl and still be DUI in Pennsylvania or DUI in New Jersey. It's not as common as say illegal drugs, but people often think that because I took this prescription drug and I'm feeling a little quote unquote woozy I'm still okay to drive legally, and you're not. If the officer finds that you're impaired, he or she can arrest you for that impairment. Whether that impairment comes from illegal or legal drugs is irrelevant with regards to the DUI in Pennsylvania or the DWI in New Jersey. Obviously, if there's illegal drugs present in the car, those will lead to additional charges and the severity of the case. But remember that illegal and illegal drugs can make you under the influence in both of those states. If you have questions, 215-755-9000 Pennsylvania, 856-793-7429 in New Jersey, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, website gambonal.com. As always, a tremendous resource for you and your family. All my books, my blogs, and videos are available there in one convenient format. We received our 100th review on Google. And I'd like to thank all those who have left Google reviews. We love the fact that our clients leave those reviews and we were able to satisfy the client's expectations with regards to the case. We strive to provide results at our law firm and provide value-driven information. I always say that an educated client is in the best possible position to receive a great result in their case. And that's why at our law firm, we offer our books, over a thousand blog articles, over 500 videos, and of course, our podcast, which features attorneys from outside of a criminal defense area. And we do all this to make our clients aware of their rights and also their responsibilities under the law. So once again, if you have questions, 215-755-9000 in Pennsylvania, 
856-793-7429 in New Jersey. Have a great Memorial Day. I'll talk to you all very soon.